Welcome to Climeworks. My name is Jan, co-founder and co-CEO of Climeworks. At Climeworks, we are building plants that capture CO2 from ambient air, and together with our partners, we store the CO2 permanently underground. What you see here, that is our mammoth plant that we just opened in Iceland two months ago, and which will eventually capture about 30,000 tons of CO2 from the air every year, which will then be permanently stored underground. I'm very well happy to have the crew of Venture Lab uh, here uh, for the 20th anniversary, and I want to congratulate you to those 20 years uh, and to the. Uh, it was a great journey uh, together with you uh, in the very beginning, uh, in particular. Thanks for having you here uh, at CrimeWorks. We have to continue our work, although it's been 15 years already. What we need to do is enable eventually billions of tons, so gigaton scale carbon removal from the atmosphere. So another few decades to go uh, on that one. Uh, and well, happy to, to have you here today and congrats again to 20 years of Venture Lab. Hi, my name is Isabella Martini. I am from the Visturi Translational Center and I'm here today to visit Climeworks in the context of the celebration for Venture Lab 20th anniversary. Today we had an incredible visit at Climeworks as we really got to understand how they are creating this big machine to capture CO2 from the air. Hello everybody, we are at the brand new site of Climeworks, the AD Hospital from 2008. Uh, this uh, visit happens actually in the context of the uh, 20th anniversary of Venture Lab and I guess Climeworks wouldn't be there if Venture Lab was not there. Thank you very much Venture Lab. Hi, I'm uh, Christa Bergstrom from uh, Capital Rewards Partners. We're investing in startups. And I've been visiting the uh, Climeworks uh, facility here in Zurich today. It was really outstanding, very impressive, and I wish VentureLab a lot of success for the next 20 years. Uh, and I'd like to say one thing. Uh, one of my Swedish uh, fellow citizens is Greta Thunborg. And uh, she said one time that there's a lot of different solutions to solve the environmental problems. There's no lack of that. And we see today a fantastic solution for the problems.